Well, it's 2016 and we've had Christmas and New Year and now there's been a few little changes to um, the show. The Real Drag Queens of Melbourne was a smash hit success, but due to the unbridled popularity of three particular members of the cast, Steve Anderson, the gorgeous creative director of the show, has informed me that there will be a spin-off series called The Secret Spot featuring the Sisters of Secret. So this is the first episode. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm upstairs at Molly's at Circuit. Molly's is the restaurant attached to the club. And we've just come off stage and my two girlfriends, Sasha and Jackie, are about to join me. Hopefully they'll give me a minute. And um, yeah, welcome to the first episode. on our screens, Nova. Uh, where have you been over the New Year period and all of that? Just fill everyone in. Well, um, it was a very rare event, but the Sisters of Sequin had two consecutive Fridays off in a row because the first Friday was, I think, Christmas Day, and the second Friday was New Year's Day, neither of which the circuit opened. So I thought I'd seize my opportunity while I can, and I dashed off to Thailand to visit a good sister of mine, Miss Jane. And I was there for 15 nights and it was amazing. I bought back um, some fabulous headpieces. I bought about 12 headpieces for the sisters. I got ripped off because I, I was the first time I've been to Thailand and I didn't quite understand the whole bartering. Like I got the bartering thing, but what happened is I knew that I wanted all these headpieces and I went to the first shop and they had only half of the headpieces I wanted. So I thought, well, I'll be opportunistic and order those in from this shop and hopefully find the rest in another shop. So I did that, went to the second shop, and the second shop happened to have everything that I wanted, including the ones that I just ordered from the first shop. So I ordered them, like all of them, from the second shop, and I just planned to like forget about the first shape and shop and sneak down the fire escape or something. But, and I also wanted to get them all from the second shop so that I would have more bartering power because if I'm ordering like 12 things from one shop, I could barter them down lower. Anyway, so the woman's ordering them and she's on the phone and she says to me, you already order half of these from first shop. And I was like, oh. <laughs> They're all related. Did I? <laughs> and she goes, that's not fair. That my friend, you have to order half from each of us. And I was like, what? That doesn't make sense. That's not fair. It never dawned on me that these shops would actually communicate with each other or that they would give a shit. I mean, if that was in Australia, the second shop would just be happy to make all the sales. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, that was a bit awkward and I ended up having to buy half from each and because I tried to be shifty, the second shop increased the price of the ones that I bought from them. But having said that, you know, we're talking about a matter of like $4 or something, so it really wasn't a big deal. And then I got abducted in a tuk-tuk on the <laughs> way home from there, but that's another story. You got tuk-tuk by tuk-tuk. I did. <laughs> But yeah, no, it was fantastic. I love Thailand. I'd go back in a heartbeat. Beautiful um, place. Did you find romance while you were there? I did the obligatory scrolling through Grindr. And honestly, 
There was really nothing that took my fancy. When I got back, I went a bit crazy. I go through periods, I go, it's like a roller coaster. I go up and then I go down, up and down. Oh my God. At the oh moment, I'm in a slump. <laughs> but in Thailand, that was another slump. So no, I just sat by the pool most of the time reading my book, but it was fun. Did you have occasion to dress up while you were in Thailand? No, I was on a holiday, Steve. I did not want to think about wigs, eyelashes, makeup, especially makeup. You know how much I hate makeup. Um, nails, I didn't want to think about any of it. So, and that was really great because it was the first time in, I reckon, over 10 years that I'd had 15 whole days off from drag. So I actually grew a beard and it was so liberating. I loved it. I cried when I had to shave yeah, it off. You're trying to get Jackie home. me off a run for money with Movember. Well, in 15 days, I grew much more of a beard than what she ever grew in a whole month. So, she's I don't know. The, she's anyway, behind. Then. She's behind you. She's behind you. Oh, it's always the way. Um, Alright, now you can talk to them, see what my sisters have to add to the dialogue. Girls. Is there much competition between the three of you? Not really. I think because we're all at different stages of our career, like, you know, Sasha's kind of blossoming, Jackie's about to blossom, and I'm wilting. So, you know, we're all at completely different stages, so there's really, there's not a lot of competition. Um, nah. You're the little wasp in the fig of life. The wasp? The wasp in the fig of life. Oh yeah, I'll take that. You I know how wasps, they had little fig wasps, they climb into the fig? Yeah. A beagle friend told me, and then they die in the fig and become part of the fig. Yes, that's me, I'm dying. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't um, you dare. No, no, I'm not dying, no. But um, all of my creative juices and finance is going to the sisters. I don't have any, anything left to buy beautiful dresses and wigs for myself, unfortunately. But you know what? That's the way I want it because I view the sisters as, um, you know, it's a bigger undertaking. It's more, more of my creative energy can kind of go into that and make something bigger. Like, it's, what am I trying to say? It's, it's bigger than just me. It's bigger than the sum of its parts. You know, it's taken on a life of its own. It's been embraced by Melbourne and indeed Australia and perhaps the world as well. I mean, we get constant, you know, inboxes. You get inboxes too to the real drag queens of Melbourne saying how beloved the sisters are, you know, at the expense of the other cast members of the real drag queens of Melbourne, of course. Um, so it's, it's very humbling to know that we're universally adored by all of you. <laughs> oh, I love it. Not, not another drag queen? Oh, he's pretty queeny. 
tastes pretty clean. Well, never mind. Yeah. We'll get that sorted out in the next show. 